Hi, this is Fernando. I am about to demonstrate a Mac clone PC for you uh, that can dual boot to various operating systems. Um, here you can see a box uh, on my desk. This is actually the black box. Uh, it's sitting right next to a Dell computer. Uh, and that is not the computer that we're going to be looking at. It's going to be the black box. Um, here is the desk uh, sitting on the desktop. Here's a 24 inch uh, monitor uh, that's capable of uh, 1920 resolution by 12, uh, 1280. Uh, I'm going to put this camera now on a tripod and we're going to start the computer. And we are going to turn it on. I'm going to turn it on and then we're going to focus on the screen and I'm going to sit on the screen and demonstrate uh, all the different things I can do with this computer. So I am going to turn the power on, all the lights come on, and I'm going to now focus on the screen while the computer starts to boot up. Here's the, the boot screen. I uh, hope I can get close enough can see and I'm going to be sitting right next to the controller. Um, it's going through the regular boot up screen. Uh, it's running the, the basic bio stuff. Now it's loading the bootloader uh, where we're going to get to select which operating system to run. Now I'm doing this all in real time. I am going to pick uh, my Windows uh, partition uh, available. I have a couple of Mac partitions and a couple of DVDs that I've installed on this computer. So we're going to start with the Mac partition. You can see how quickly it takes for the system to start. Uh, this computer is uh, a little bit uh, uh, has a configuration that is not quite as good as the one uh, that we have posted on eBay. Uh, this computer is a 2.3 uh, gigahertz uh, speed. Um, uh, the one on eBay is 2.5. Okay, and you can see that you know uh, the Mac has loaded up. Uh, now we're gonna let's say just to see the different you know speeds of things, we're gonna start Safari. So you can comes up kind of very nice and quick. A little smaller. Uh, I'm going to leave Safari running in the background so you can see how the computer can multitask. Uh, let's start with something you know, fairly basic like, uh, let's say, start Photoshop CS4. And here I double click on the icon. should be launching. Okay, it's up and running. File new. Uh, let's say 17 inches by 15 inches. Okay. Got our image. Let's do a nice filter here real quick. Render clouds. Something like that. So it's up and running. So I'm going to put Photoshop so you can see. It. This is latest version CS4. Don't, don't save this masterpiece. Uh, next, let's go to something like Adobe Illustrator. Here we go. Adobe Illustrator. document. Okay. And let's create another beautiful masterpiece here. Give it a color. Create another rectangle. A different color and so on. So that's Illustrator. I'm not going to say this one again. Uh, other things that I have installed on this computer, some, something perhaps a little bit more basic uh, would be like Microsoft Excel. This is, again, the latest version, 2008. Um, close this Illustrator window here. And it's up and running. Um, I have, uh, you know, this is not part of the configuration, but I have a the TV um, adapter plugged to this computer. Uh, so, for instance, right now I'm starting uh, ITV. 
It's a pointless exercise. The sentiment, it seems, is not Rush Limbaugh is in the long right. run an interesting right. radio personality. Like Limbaugh, Gingrich comes with lots of baggage. Let's quit this so we don't make too much noise. Uh, let's start something fun, like let's see the photo booth, for instance. I have a video, uh, a webcam connected to the computer, and there I am. Hi, you can see me there. Every, you know, any kind of hardware will work uh, on this computer. Any hardware that's designed for a Macintosh will run on this computer perfectly fine as if it were a native Macintosh. Um, let's do something fun again, like, uh, let's see, let's go to front row, listen to some music. some music. I don't, I don't have too much on this computer in terms of music. So let's say... The volume down a little bit. Something on other programs like um, iLife. I have, I'm starting iWeb, for example. Start, you know, some a new web page design. Uh, take a picture. You know, let's rotate a little bit. You know, let's move it around on the page. Something like that. Uh, just very quickly, you can get up and running. And I'm not going to say this again. Now, what I'm going to do very live is going to uh, I'm going to restart this computer, and instead of uh, selecting the Mac OS, I'm going to start Windows on this computer. So I pick restart. And it's shutting down. Now, interestingly enough, the Macintosh system starts much quicker than the Windows 7 beta that I have installed here, um, which we will we'll demonstrate. So again, you know, we're up at the boot up screen. Running the regular BIOS information. Here comes the bootloader. the windows and we're off to start Windows 7 beta uh, this computer also has a uh, an, an older generation uh, NVIDIA GeForce 7300 video card and when advertised is one of the latest cards is one of the fastest cards in the, in the market. Great for gaming, great for animation. Uh, it's great for 3D, for CAD, all kinds of things. So here is Windows 7 up and running. Let's just start Firefox here real quick. And Google, let's go to apple.com. Quickly get there. That is it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to send me uh, a note via email. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.